Well, hey guys, welcome back to another Daily Diva. A lot of you have been asking when am I going to invite our newest little addition to our family onto one of these videos. This is Ember, my little golden doodle here. So my wife and I are really enjoying her here, but I wanted to show her off to you a little bit. She's a little nervous. This is her first time in this room. So if you hear some little sound effects in the background, it's probably just her playing around. So I'm just going to put her down here. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another Daily Devo. I'm glad that you were able to here to join us because today we're really just going to be talking about this whole idea of you being this light inside this world. This morning I was checking out Matthew chapter 2 and I was reading verse 10 and this, it's a story of when during Jesus' birth, we start seeing the wise men come and see him. So this should be a pretty familiar story to you, but verse 10 really hit home in a way, and I'll show it with you in just a second. It says this in Matthew chapter 2, verse 10. It says, When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with a great joy. I love how, how cool this is. From the very get-go, even from Jesus' birth, Jesus was all about people coming to him. Because we see this with the star, right? What was the whole point of the star? There was these wise men that were going to come see Jesus, and so this star came out in the middle of the night to light the way, to show them and direct them to where Jesus, baby Jesus, was at. So from the very beginning, Jesus was all about people coming to him. And that theme never ended. Because if you start flipping over a few chapters, in chapter 5, we hear this amazing verse, this very familiar verse that you are most likely, you know. This is idea, it's in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. Check it out. But the theme is this, you are the light of the world. Jesus is looking at his followers, looking at the people who are coming and wanting to be a part of what he's doing. And he's telling them, you are the light of the world. You are going to be someone who is directing others to me. Your voice, your life, your actions, you are going to be directing people to me. And so the question that I'm going to ask to you is this, because if you read Matthew chapter 5, which we'll probably talk about here in a few days, are you hiding your light? If God is putting this label on you as the light of the world, someone who is directing and pointing people to him, are you doing this? Or are you hiding your light so other people can't see it for whatever reason it may be? You're a little nervous about what they're going to do when they see your light. You're nervous about what might be lost if the people see your light. It doesn't matter what it is, but the question needs to be brought up. Are you leading people to Jesus? Can people see your life and see the directions to Jesus because, because of it. That's a question I want you to think about and ask to yourselves here. Because we are this light. <laughs> we, are, we are called to direct people to Jesus. Anyways, I'm going to just go ahead and pray for you. I can see little Ember running around here. But thank you guys for listening here today. Just keep this in mind. We do have this calling to lead people to Jesus. And I, wanted, I want you to check yourselves. Are you doing that? Let me pray for you. Father, I want to thank you so much for today. We absolutely love you. We thank you for opening up this opportunity to be this light in the world to direct people to Jesus. But if we're not doing that right now, I pray that you give us clarity in our lives to know what needs to change. We love you, name I pray. Amen. Hey guys, as always, I want to say thanks for watching and know that Jesus loves you. See ya.